Hey, so you're wondering if you should replace your injectors or not. Well, I've done this before and I'll do it again. We'll keep this one short, but I've got a couple of love letters here from some return injectors. So just remember when you return your old injectors um, for your free contamination check, remember to include either your bank details with your love letter as this one has on the other side of the page, or send me the text message a couple of days after you send the package back after you've texted me for the correct address <clears throat> don't trust anything on google it's all wrong not necessarily right you know so always text for the return address and a couple of days after you send it text me the bank details because i can't refund you unless you send me those details and of course when i go to do refunds it could be nine o'clock at night and i'm not going to start texting you for bank details nine o'clock at night because you might not like that but you might have your phone on silent like i do but anyway just include those details. I'm sure if you want the money, eventually you'll be uh, saying, hey, uh, you know, can you send that for me? And if you haven't got your refund yet, that's why. And that's why you watch the videos because, you know, you just got free money if uh, you watch the video. It's going to cost me money, this bloody video. Anyway, a couple of love letters here. Let's just have a quick look. Mainly this one is what I wanted to look at because it gives you some feedback on injectors. So this guy's just changed two sets of injectors, right? You can read it if you like, if you can see that. Uh, quick notes, set of inject there's two sets of injectors, one for a 120, one for a 150. Long story short, both sets came from me is my understanding. He did both over the weekend and they now run much better with a noticeable difference in smoothness and power. Now, obviously we've been doing this for over 10 years, um, trying to be modest there. And the feedback from people is generally smoother, quieter, little bit better fuel economy, all that sort of thing. So my point is, if it was running fine, then how is it running better with new injectors? So my point is, it's not really running fine. It's running bloody good for a diesel because it's common rail injection. It, they run smooth till the end. So don't be one of the people that go, oh, you know, I got my original injectors at three or 400,000 Ks and mate, you know, you don't need to change the injectors and you know, carefully you listen to it, right? So my point is, if it's running better, Right, and this is what someone's written. I suppose no, I could have typed this up, couldn't I? Anyway, whatever. Um, uh, Mention the videos. Uh, so you send the things back. That's it exactly. Keeps the cost down. Any leftovers, send them back with your. So you send back your injectors. There's some lend items. Five lend items. Molycode, Ultra Grey, the Dow, the Crow's Foot, and the Red Caps. Send those back. You can keep four Red Caps if you want. Just send me four because I've got heaps now because people have been listening. Thank you. So Red Caps, if you want to keep four, you keep them. Um, um, what else did I say? Send that stuff back, keeps cost down. Appreciate the info videos, Prado specific, especially comp code pilot learn reviews on the scan tool. So there's playlists, people. Check the playlist. What's this other little letter about? I just put this here because I just opened four sets of injectors. Two had love letters. Well, Anthony, just a quick note to say thanks for all the tips and tricks in the videos. Right, so watch the videos, people. Get in the VIP group. Wise people, they watch the videos in the VIP group. They help me a lot, okay? So don't take my word for it. Here it is from people putting it in writing. Uh, in a world that is taking all the time you are giving and the community you have built up very much, appreciate it. You are a great role model for the young ones coming through. All the best. Thank you. All right. Awesome, people. So there you go. Subscribe, turn that bell on. Get the info. Don't miss it. And you can decide for yourself from all the info whether you want to change your injectors or not. My only advice is if you decide to, only get them off me because you want to go forwards with new fresh injectors, the complete kit with the fuel pipes and the correct procedures from the VIP group, not just who knows what you're going to get. Some remanufactured, some counterfeit copies, some no fuel pipes, some dodgy workmanship, which leads me to the next point. I've got to go because we've got a vehicle over there that somebody's worked on that's caused a problem, a massive oil leak. And um, it's all, once again, because people have worked on the car. Have you noticed a pattern in our videos where there's a whole lot of careful who you let work in your video information? Because that's, what, that's why vehicles come to us. If everybody just did the job right, we wouldn't have any jobs to do here. We wouldn't be able to make videos. We wouldn't be able to say, these are the best vehicles. Um, but the reason there's problems with them, it's people that have worked on them that didn't do things correctly or maintenance that hasn't been done. They're getting to much higher kilometers these injectors, they do not last forever. Uh, originally, they said they're gonna last the life of the vehicle. I think they expected the life of the vehicle to be one or 200,000 Ks. Like that transmission oil, lasts for the life of the vehicle. It's a non-maintenance item. Well, 
each to their own. Thanks for watching. There's a short one for you. Catch you in the next one. See ya.